record to run. Please request recording permission from the meeting host. Okay. So can you, Mark, can you start the recording? Apparently you are the... Are we recording? Yes, perfect. Hi, everybody. Welcome for this new Jenkins infrastructure meeting. Um, so this time, um, I have some good news. So the first one is obviously related to the Docker Hub. So we got we got approval from Docker um, to be sponsored for the uh, for the Jenkins organization. They also proposed to sponsor, I mean, to whitelist other organizations. So I asked for the Jenkins for eval and the Jenkins CI infra. Um, I haven't received answer yet for those two, but yeah, I guess it should be fine. Um, the thing is right now is I cannot confirm that it works on my side because um, you, the user interface is the same than previously. Um, nothing yet I mean, changed, so I'm not sure how I can test it at the moment. But uh, yeah, the most important one is that um, we got confirmation from Docker that it should be working, which is great. Um, the next topic, um, yeah is uh, related to the Docker images for Windows. So Garrett made some great improvement there. So maybe Garrett, you can um, explain a little bit what you did here. Yep, sure. Um, so I have, just whilst the PR for Adopt Open JDK is still open and, and sort of unmerged. Um, so we have forked that repo into Jenkins X Infra, or sorry, not Jenkins X, Jenkins Infra. Um, we have, uh, tweak the build so that it should build on our um, slaves. Uh, so that actually works. And those images are being pushed up. There's about 12, no, slightly more. Actually, I think it's 16 images that it pushes up into uh, Jenkins for eval open JDK. And I'm just doing some tweaking to make sure that the tags are consistent uh, with what Adopt Open JDK are publishing on their site. Um, and that should be done today, I would have thought. Okay, thanks. Uh, just yeah, some clarification here. We decided to move with the Jenkins for eval because we don't want to officially support those images. Um, so we just, um, you know, that to, to keep working on the Windows images without being blocked uh, by the Adopt Open JDK project. Um, so there is no expectation on how long we, we, we maintain those images. Again, those are at the moment maybe for testing purposes. Um, and they're, they're all based on Windows 2019 LTSC, all of the, the ones that we published. Um, the next topic, um, I, don't, I, I didn't receive any updates, which is regarding GFrog and um, the work being done on repository.org. So may, maybe, Mark, you have more information there. I try, I asked Daniel, but I didn't receive information there. You're muted. I right? do I do not have any additional information. Neither Daniel nor I, as far as I know, have made any, have done anything yet. No progress this week. OK. Um, the next topic is regarding the JIRA testing. Um, so last week, last week um, we, did, uh, we tested the new instances provided by the Linux Foundation, uh, Sync team, and all the other people involved here. You spot uh, um, quite a lot of bugs, but again, I, I don't think there was some major issues there, um, which block us to continue the migration to the Linux Foundation. Um, I don't know. I guess we are still on track to, to plan the migration next week, but we still have um, to, 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 to align with the Linux Foundation folks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about that one right now, Olivier, just because I've not seen anything from them confirming that next week. So I'm gonna launch an email conversation with Andrew Grimberg and with uh, Anton Baranov to confirm that they are really good with November 9, because if they say they're not good with November 9, the following week is not a great choice. If I remember correctly, the following week risk collision with is, a, I know the preceding week collides with a potential LTS. The following week was also a problem. So I've got to check with them. I will check with them and report back by email to the Jenkins Infra mailing list. 
yeah, in, in worst case, I would be more in favor to reduce um, the announcement period um, in order to do it next week, if it's possible, because I would prefer to not delay the upgrade too long. Um, yeah, especially all the work that need to be done on the Jenkins project on the following weeks. Great. Okay, so that's good guidance. I will I will take that, and we should push push hard for the week of November 9th. I think I think it's totally fine to announce it a few days um, before um, that we are going to work on. Well, and, and we've announced we've announced November 9 almost a month yeah. ago, yeah. so so it, it's been announced. It's just a reminder. Hey, we're we're re this is real. We will make this transition. We'll be down on the following day, on this specific day of that week, and that I don't have from them yet. So the next topic is about the Azure bill, which is a recurring topic. Um, the good thing is um, it has been paid last week, um, and we started another discussion with the Linux Foundation to see how we could prevent that to happen in the future. So they propose to migrate the Azure account to the Linux Foundation. So instead of being the owner of the accounts and asking the Linux Foundation to pay the bill, I would, I would transfer it to the Linux Foundation, which is something that I would like to do since the beginning. And I think it will be easier uh, to maintain it. Um, but yeah, we still have to, to engage in discussion. Um, in the past, the reason why we didn't do that in the past was because I think they were not using Azure on their side, so it would have been the first um, Azure account. But apparently, something unblocked there. So if we can, if we, if I can transfer that account to the Linux Foundation, I would be more than happy. Um, so yeah, the next topic is about Azure credits. So on that side, I think it's Mark. Um, you may have some information there. No, no further feedback, and they did not give a timeline when they would have closure on that. I'll, I'll share. We'll leave it on the agenda, and I'll share if we hear more from them over the course of the next two weeks. Thank you. Um, the final topic, the, 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 yeah, the, the final one of the final topic that I want to talk is that I started working in the release environment again. So um, I had a bunch of open PRs um, before I leave beginning of August um, that I'm now trying to test and to validate. So the thing that I'm trying to, to, to introduce is um, unit testing uses, using bats um, because the release script is getting quite big. And um, even me, I, I tend to forgot what I did a um, few months in the past. So I really need some unit tests, but um, yeah, that's that's um, the main, the, the thing that I'm working right now. Um, so Olivia, you didn't announce the big one. Come on, merge Infra 910 to the master branch and released a weekly with it. And it was all great. Yeah, true. That's 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 indeed a, a great um, achievement because we had that art branch open for almost a year. I think I opened that, that branch last year in, in January. Um, so now we should we should be able to. Um, yeah, that's that's a great achievement. Um, we we have we still have few open tickets then will be able to close the release epic. Um, so the, the, the main thing that I'm that I still that I'm still pending is um, so I'm working, I'm modifying the scripts to guess more information based on the branch. So the idea is so that's what I'm currently testing with but the idea is if you trigger a release from the master branch, um, it assumes that you're doing a weekly. If you're releasing from a branch named security dash um, to the or a 2.235, for example, um, security that, so then it assumes that it's a stable security release. Um, and so this kind of information, um, those are explained in my PRs. And yeah, that, that's the thing that I really want to be sure that it's tested and working correctly. The second element that I would like to finish is really having a full promoting workflow. So the idea is we would be able to build every packages in advance, let's say a few weeks in, in advance or one week, whatever. And then the day of the release, we only publish them. The current situation, and that's um, one of the reasons why um, we identified the Windows issue really late last time was 
the, for some reason, the release environment was broken and we only detect that at the last moment. And so this is something that I would like to avoid in the future. And those two things are the most important one that I would like to finish before moving over another project than the release environment. So for the two, I have open PRs that I have to finalize. That's it. Um, another topic that I forgot to add here um, I also send emails, um, so I also work on the, on the release. So basically what I did was to reuse the, um, the, the email addresses for, from people who voted last year, and I sent them an email using SendGrid. Um, and, and I also worked on re retrieving email address from people who have access to repo the Jenkins org. So the idea was to be able to reach the plugin maintainers um, in order to remind them that it's election time. Uh, I have a list. Um, I wanted to wait for the, the first batch. Uh, I wanted to wait to send the first batch for the voters, um, for last year voters, but yeah, the, the second thing that I have to finish. Now, I think it is perfectly healthy on US election day for us to send an invitation for people to register to vote. So, okay, later is fine too. It's, it's kind of, as a non-US citizen, I cannot really send a message saying like, uh, don't forget to vote. <laughs> it would be like, I'm, I'm trying don't to- Don't forget to vote for Jenkins governance. Oh, wait yeah. a sec, what? That has nothing to do. Yeah, <laughs> got it. So, um, yeah, just, I hope you, you already registered for the election because it's coming. And um, yep, that's it for me, so. Uh, is there any last thing that you want to talk here? Otherwise, I just propose to go back to RC if we are all good with this. So, last call one, two, three. Thanks, everybody. See you in RC and um, let's meet next week. Bye bye.